Welcome you all. Myself, Namdev Shinde. Today, we are going to see herbal drug technology practicals in that preparation and evaluation of herbal cream, herbal shampoo, and herbal syrup. We start one by one regarding first practical preparation and evaluation of herbal cream. Objectives of the experiment are to learn how to prepare herbal cream. Second one is to learn evaluation parameters and importance of herbal cream. First of all, we'll see the definition of cosmetics. So cosmetic is an articles intended to be rubbed, poured, sprinkled, or spread on, introduced into or otherwise applied to the human body or any part thereof for cleansing, beautifying, promoting attractiveness or altering the appearance. So this is definition of cosmetic as per Drug and Cosmetic Act. Regarding theoretical part, cosmetics are, as we know, these are utility products and extensively used throughout the world for maintaining and improving general appearance of face and other parts of body like skin, eye, hair, hand, etc. The basic idea of skin care cosmetic lies deep in the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, ancient system as Ayurveda, Inani, and homeopathic system of medicine, as we all know. Regarding herbal cosmetics, in this modern era, the knowledge of its knowledge and experience of usage of herb are being blended with advanced cosmetic technology to develop a safe and elegant beauty products which have wider range of people acceptability. Basically, it is BT invented by nature and perfected through technology. So that is herbal drug technology. So we are using uh, basic knowledge of herbs and using technology, we are converting it into safe and uh, elegant beauty products. Benefits of herbal cosmetics are, it is being natural, uh, so we don't have or list uh, harmful effects or no harmful effects on the skin or any other body parts. Relatively, these are more safer than synthetic, semi-synthetic varieties. More flexible effect to the consumer due to its use in tradition and cultures. Flexibility in formulation, population, proves effects from ancient time. So we are using different herbs as in cosmetic since ancient time and as they are easily available we can use anytime anywhere herbal cream it is an cream used for the purpose of moistening nourishing lightening or treating treatment of various diseases of the skin herbs generally Used in cosmetic preparation have varieties of properties like it can be used as antioxidant, anti-inflammatory agent, or antiseptic or antibacterial. We have an example for herbal cream. So there are number of ingredients with their quantities are mentioned here, like lemon oil, aloe, turmeric, tulsi, nutmeg, rose water neem leaves, orange oil, and almond oil. So these are all natural one, and they have different pharmacological actions like lemon oil can be used as flavor stimulant, thermality, or stomach ache cleanser. Second ingredient is aloe. It has hydrating agent. It acts as emollient, anti-wrinkle, wound healer also. Regarding turmeric, it is well-known antimicrobial agent. Also, it has lightening property. Also, it can be used as moisturizer. Tulsi, it can be used as antimicrobial agent. Nutmeg, it can be used as flavoring agent, carminative or anti-spot agent also. Rose water, it generally used as a flavoring agent, cooling agent or emollient. Neem leaves, as we know, it can be used on eczema, 
रिंग वर्म इन्फेक्शन कैबिज सोराइसिस एक्सेट्रा ऑरेंज वाइल इट इज एंटी स्किन कैंसर एजेंट ब्लैक स्पॉट रिड्यूसर एंड लास्ट वन इज अलमंड ऑयल दैट इज हैविंग एंटी विंकल प्रॉपर्टी आर स्वीट कैन बी यूज एज मॉइस्चराइजर आर एवर regarding evaluation so we have seen formulation part so oil and water soluble parts are dissolved with each other by using heat this is basic preparation so as per type of uh, ingredient we are using method of preparation will be different as we know uh, we have seen method of preparation for cream in pharmaceutics we can apply that methods over here but depends on type of ingredient we can use better method regarding evaluation of cream we have different parameters like physical properties color odor appearance thermal proper thermal stability can be checked for the formulation and that can be determined by humidity chamber controlled at 60 to 70% relative humidity and 37 degree centigrade temperature plus or minus 1 next part is determination of ph so 5 g of cream we need to take and that we need to take in 100 ml beaker then we have to add 45 ml of water in that and disperse the cream in it the ph of the suspension is determined at 27 degree centigrade using ph meter fourth one is stability study so we can go for stability study as per ics guidelines the cream filled in bottle and kept in humidity chamber and that is maintained at 30 degree plus minus 2 degree centigrade and 65% relative humidity plus or minus 5% and 40 degree centigrade plus or minus 2% 2 degree centigrade or 75% relative humidity plus or minus 5% for 2 months so at the end of studies samples were analyzed for physical properties as well as viscosity determination next test is patch test so about 20 g of material we need to apply on the piece of fabric or panel and apply to the sensitive part of the skin skin behind ears generally it is applied the cosmetic to be tested was applied to an area of 1 square millimeter of the skin and control patches were also applied the site of patch is inspected after 24 hours so based on the observation we can have positive or negative evaluation test next part is spreadability study a special apparatus has been designed to study the spreadability of formulation spreadability is expressed in terms of time in seconds taken by two slides to slip off from the formulation that is placed in between and under the application of certain load laser the time taken for the separation of two better the spreadability we get so we can check by this way then next part is microbial growth so it can be checked by using uh, inoculating that particular cream in agar plates the plates are generally placed in incubator and incubated at 37 degree centigrade for 24 hours and after this we have to compare the observation with standards that is microbial growth so this is all about uh, formulation part as well as evaluation of the global tip thank you next part is preparation and evaluation of herbal shampoo that will continue formulation and evaluation of herbal shampoo are table objectives for this practical are to learn how to prepare herbal shampoo to learn evaluation parameters and importance of herbal shampoo in detail so it is an hair care product that is used for cleansing scalp 
and air in our body. Shampoos are most likely utilized as beautifying agent and are discussed solutions of detergents containing suitable additives, preservatives, and active ingredients. They generally applied on weight. We know that massaging into the hair and cleansed by rinsing with water. The purpose of using shampoo is to remove dirt that is built up on the hair without stripping out much of the sebum. Many synthetic shampoos are present in the current market. However, herbal shampoos are getting popularized because of its natural origin, safer and increased consumer demand. And most importantly, these are free from side effects. In synthetic samples, as we know, we are using surfactants. Generally, these are synthetic ones and are added mainly for the cleansing and foaming property. But the continuous use of these surfactants, generally synthetic, semi-synthetic derivatives, leads to serious effects like eye irritation, scalp irritation, loss of hair, or dryness of hair. And for this reason, alternative to the synthetic shampoos, we can use shampoos containing natural herbals. These medicinal plants may be used in extract form, their powder form, food form, or their derivatives for preparing herbal shampoo. This is one example we have taken. These are different ingredients like soap nut extract, amla extract, chikai extract, hibiscus, bring raj, extract, senna extract, aloe vera, gelatin, lemon juice, and rose oil. So by using this material, we can go for halber shampoo preparation. So as per type of ingredient, we have different pharmacological actions. Regarding evaluation parameter, we have to evaluate this shampoo for clarity, color, odor, home producing ability. Second part is determination of pH. So pH can be determined by, by taking 10% volume by volume shampoo solution in distilled water. That can be determined by, by using pH meter at room temperature. So determination of percent solid content. That is important test for shampoo. So percent solid content can be determined by using taking 4 gram of shampoo uh, that is taken in previously clean, dry, and weighed evaporating dish. The dish and shampoo was weighed again to confirm the exact weight of shampoo. Then we have to go for liquid portion of the shampoo has to be evaporated by placing it on hot plate. Okay, the weight and thus percentage of the solid content of shampoo left after complete drying is calculated. So we call it as percent solid content. So by heating this 4 gram of shampoo on your operating dish after drying the weight remaining we have to measure that and based on that we can conclude the percent solid content present in 4 gram. So, Next one is dirt dispersion test. So two drops of shampoo we need to take and add to the 10 ml of distilled water taken in large test tube. Then to this solution, one drop of India ink need to be added and test tube was stoppered and shaken for 10 times. Then amount of ink in the foam was indicated by the rubric such as none, light, moderate or heavy. So, Based on type of dispersion, we can categorize this as none, light, moderate, or heavy. So based on type of, so we are using here ink and the shampoo. So dispersion can be detected by using this test. Surface tension measurement, so that can be generally used at a concentration of 10% weight by volume in digital water using stalagmometer at room temperature. And last test is foaming ability and foam stability. So foaming is different and foam stability is different concept. Foaming ability 
was determined by using cylinder shake method. So briefly, we can say 10 ml of formulated shampoo we need to take into graduated cylinder and that is covered with one hand and shake for 10 times. The total volume of foam content after one minute of shaking was recorded and then foam stability was evaluated by recording the foam volume after one minute and four minute of the shake test. So we can get a basic difference how much time it takes to stabilize the foam. So we are comparing it for one minute and four minutes. This is all about second practical that is formulation and evaluation of herbal shampoo. Next, more towards next practical that is preparation and evaluation of herbal serum. Regarding this, objectives are to learn how to prepare herbal syrup, to learn evaluation parameters and importance of herbal syrup. As we know, herbal syrup is an Ayurvedic formulation that is preferentially administered by oral route and most of the orally administered Ayurvedic formulations belong to the liquid form of drug or drug combination. The advantage of oral route is that it's simple one, convenient and safest. So we can easily administer any type of drug for geriatric as well as pediatric patient. Most of drugs are well absorbed by oral route as we know this if administered along with food. Syrups are based for all liquid oral formulations as they are sweet one and people who are unfamiliar with bitter taste, they can take this syrup easily. Herbal syrup is one of that offers the consumer additional perceived health benefits besides its primary function to taste enhancement. These plants are the potent source of natural bioactive compounds. We have the formulation example. So we can use kiwi extract, basil leaves extract, orange peel extract, sugar and alcohol. So quantities are given. So based on ingredient, we have to go for first extraction, then boiling, and finally, uh, volume maker. So use of kiwi fruit is death as antioxidant. Basil leaves, it can be used as antibacterial. Orange peel, it is flavor. Sugar, it is used as preservative here in small quantity. And alcohol is also acted as preservative. And last part is evaluation. So this syrup can be evaluated for its taste. Generally, generally it is sweet or we can add different flavors also. Its odor can be checked. pH of the solution also need to check. Color, density, and specific gravity. So these are basic test, evaluation tests for herbal syrup that we need to go for its measurement. This is all about formulation and evaluation of herbal shampoo. Thanks for watching the video.